Welcome back to the GP Productions podcast. Okay, welcome back to the show and today I've got a very special guest. His name is Mr. Orlando Draven from the band Zeistenkreux, which I hope is the pronunciation that is correct. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Listen, man, today is a very significant day. Your new EP is dropping today. Can you tell people what it is, what to expect from you guys? Because I know you guys have been around for quite a while. Yeah, first and foremost, thank you very much for having me. It's no great. problem. Uh, I mean, I mean. The, the new EP is going to be, uh, actually, it is really a blend between, uh, I, I would like to say that it's kind of nihilistic because it's uh, the, the way that the lyrics are, are put together and, and the music is kind of like a blend, like I was going to say, of uh, soft stuff, pop stuff, and heavy stuff. So we have a little bit of everything on it. So now that you can hear it, it's going to be... Uh, an experience i mean because it's gonna have a a little bit of everything for everyone so we're gonna have like a we have our our single out for for a while which is ice queen and it's kind of like a pop rock song more like a melodic kind of thing and then right here what we have is is the heavy stuff which would be you know more metal in a way and a little bit of um electronic not that much electronic but but it's mostly guitar driven, so yeah. that's that's what it is right now. That's that's what we're yeah. kind of showcasing on the EP. Do you, do you think it's important now? Because I I listen to a lot of bands, and one of the bands I listen to would be uh, Blind Channel. They're a band from Finland. I I seen them. I was in the US in April, and I seen them play over there. And they're a band that have a, a lot of different influences and mixes as well. But then every so often they throw out maybe a, a lighter song, just to kind of. I suppose maybe test the waters and maybe gain a new audience. Is that what you were going for with Ice Queen? Because it's a lot different than the rest of the EP, for example. Oh yeah, no, that's for sure. Uh, I was saying before in uh, talking to some friends and some people, and I said that Ice Queen was like the the odd one, like the the, the special one, because it's not really the style that we used to showcase or the one that we used to play. And I didn't want to leave it out of this because I, I thought it was kind of special like i said it's, it, it's different so we didn't do a plan like okay we're gonna go uh to a pop audience or we ended audience not yeah. necessarily what we did is just like okay we we feel that, like this song is something that's working for us and if you it, if it's working for us it should work for everybody even if you're not into like pop rock or, or stuff like that but I mean, at the same time, it's something that we try to be honest in what we do. So it's something that we felt that we needed to put out, even yeah, though so it wasn't like, yeah, it, 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 even though it wasn't exactly the style or the genre, but but at the same time, it's something that comes from the same band. So it shouldn't be that far away from that. Yeah, it's still organic to you guys, you know. Mm-hmm. And that that was yeah. exactly the point. Uh, and. When we wrote the, the entire EP, that was a, the, the idea, just to have the songs that we felt that like they were right for the EP and the, and the ones that we felt that it was right for us at the moment. Yeah. So it was something that it was, okay, so this is what we have, this is the best that we can do at this moment, so we're going to present it. Yeah. What about for people that have never heard your band? How would you describe yourselves to them? Well, I, I would say that we have a little bit of everything. I mean, we're mostly a heavy band. We, we're, we have electronic elements. We have metal elements. We have rock and roll elements. We have uh, a little bit of syncopation and like, uh, I would say like odd rhythms and 
kind of like I, I won't I won't say industrial, but it's industrial rooted. But at the same time, it's uh, it's metal, and it's electronic, and it's kind of groovy sometimes, and it's kind of melodic sometimes. So it's a blend of everything, a little bit of everything. But it would be mostly, I would say, like uh, metal, electronic, and post-industrial, like I said it before. Mm. How how hard is it these days in the music industry to try carve out some of the market for a band? Because I know, like, we'll, we could talk about records all day long. But they just don't make money, and I see that you guys have done a U.S. tour recently, and you've been in you've been in Europe before, yeah. Yes, actually, we're where, where did... in, the, in the Baltics and Ukraine. Okay. And on how did that go for you guys? And that was great, actually. We were in Ukraine, and probably I would say that was the best audience that we ever played. Yeah. To. And it was really, really, it was comforting because it was a. Uh, it was different, so we weren't expecting anything or too much because one, we're new, so we still had that in the back of our head. That, okay, so we're gonna do something new, so we're gonna Europe. Nobody knows us there, so we weren't expecting much. And actually, the reaction and uh, and, uh, and the reception was great, so we loved it. And same in the, when we played the Baltics, it was really good. Also, it was really, really, yeah. really great for us and it was uh it was a good feeling just to feel welcome yeah that's how it felt did, did you feel less pressure maybe going somewhere like that and somewhere that doesn't know you guys yeah i mean there's always going to be a, a little bit of pressure but that you put on yourself because it's, it's something that you try to do right you know it's always yeah. uh, you're trying to present your music and your band the best way possible and to the um, to a little bit to cater the taste of the audiences whenever you go play so there's always a little bit of pressure but at the same time we try to make it organic and natural so it's not it's not something that we were putting just to show just for the sake of a show it's just that we're trying to put ourselves in the stage every time that we're there and then we're trying to present the band that's that's technically what it is so i guess that somehow some way it, it, it creates a pressure that we put in our, on ourselves so yeah. it's kind of that's what it is for us mm -hmm. if you look at say the release of the ep what what is the plan going forward are you going to tour more of america or are you going to come back back to europe or what's the general would, plan we would love to go to europe because we had a great experience going there that's something that I, that it's always in the plans it's just like depending on how it goes with the, with the state of the situation you know trying to stay yeah. away from what's going on but we we still are in a limbo we don't know how it's going to be you know customs and you know the borders and you know the uk has the restrictions that they have you know just to go there and you know a bunch of paperwork and stuff so we still don't know so we're trying to tour as much as we can the states and then we're trying to go to europe but it's going to depend a little bit of uh of how the how is the evolution of what we're living right now because I mean, yeah. again, it, it's 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 an issue. Even though you don't want to get involved or you don't want to talk about it, I mean, in the end, it's always an issue because it's gonna be it's gonna be a barrier, you know. It's gonna be a it's gonna it's gonna be an obstacle. So you're gonna yeah. have to figure it out, and then you have to kind of like, well, you make decisions, you know. Whenever you're doing, okay, so if we're not going to be able to make it so we'll make it i don't know next year or in six months or in eight months so it's kind of like we're kind of testing the waters just to see what's going yeah happen. yeah the uk the, the uk is kind of tricky at the moment because of the they kind of left the european union and there's all sorts of political shit that we don't want to oh, talk about yeah, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. you know but it's a lot more difficult for bands to kind of i think it costs a lot more as well to get in there and to Definitely. kind of tour around there you know but good news we're not we're still part of the european union here in ireland so you're very welcome here anytime <laughs> thank you thank you now that's awesome yeah well, we would love to go there is it's one of the places that we have like okay this is one of the, of the places i mean out of the uk we want to go to ireland and scotland just because it's yeah. just the cool places to go play and yeah it, it's, it's very exciting just to think about it i mean because like i said we're we're eager to go there and you know play as much as we can and you know uh, meet as, as many people as we can and you know see as much as we can in, in different countries it's just you know we got to see 
we gotta we gotta wait and, and you know figure it's it still, out it, yeah it's still unknown um but in terms of yourself how long have you been in music and then secondly how long have you been in this band because i know you formed this band yeah well in music i've been my entire life i started at six years old just doing music in general I, i'm kind of a like a cliche like a single cliche I, I sang in the church i did you know the entire thing and then yeah. uh, in the band i mean i believe that we started like around 2014 but it was just the first steps it wasn't exactly the you know the, the entire blown band that we have right now it was just like okay put in the first you know songs and the first music that we got and that i got at the time and then little by little i started you know finding the right people just to start playing with and then you have a, an actual band yeah yeah it's very hard to find your key elements of a band isn't it and i used to be in one myself a long time ago but it's very hard to find reliable people just to form the band isn't it is it is one is a of, of course it's reliability but it's always you know it's a kindred spirit you gotta have chemistry because music is not only about you know having people playing just for sake of playing they could be great musicians they could play awesome and everything but i mean when you're in a room sometimes you don't necessarily need to be the best one at your instrument you just need to fit in that you know in the band in, in the in the ensemble that you're trying to put together and it's something about chemistry it's something about you know uh it, it has to be a, a it's like a family you gotta you yeah. gotta marry those guys and those guys have to marry you just in order to create something you know good and something that works that you feel like okay so this is real this is what we want to present this is something that that we feel like is the right thing to do yeah and of course you all have to kind of have the same common goals because i found with bands over the years like if somebody is not that real interested or doesn't want to take it to the next level they're always the people that fall out and then the people like yourself would say the leader of the band keeps on power and true to get to your common goal what is the common goal what is the the long-term goal with the band long-term goal i would say that is uh, just to make music as much as we can for as long as we can i mean regardless because i mean like you said before uh, the the industry the the records the the, the music itself is kind of in like a weird period so it's kind of yes. nobody knows what's going on nobody knows what's going to happen and that's actually it's always been like this not as bad as as it is today but it's always been like this so all you need to do is just make music but make music that you feel like is uh is an honest way to make music and it's, it's something that's real it's something that that you're not working towards or just to cater some audiences or just to cater some genre or style so you're doing the music that you feel at the moment the, the music that you you think and then uh with the, with, the, with the group of people that you have you all feel that is the, the the best that you can do at the time so yeah. i would say that the goal is is that just to make as much music as we can and just to just to keep playing as much as we can because i mean in the end there's no guarantee that you're gonna succeed or not it's just like you're doing it because you love doing it you're not doing it because of, of the money or you know all those weird things that people always pick you know or attract to or just say that it's rock and roll it's all about but in the end yeah. rock and roll is always been and, and heavy music it's always been about the music it's not about the success or or not success of the of, of what you do it's just about doing what you love yeah we'll go back to the ep for a minute and just in in when you wrote the ep what kind of state of mind were you guys in were you kind of obviously you weren't able to play shows over there for a while and it was a bad bad time for the music industry we won't get into it in detail but was that kind of in your mind and in emotions when you were writing this yeah i mean uh we were fortunate to be able to tour in 21. we toured in the united states uh on, on, two, on 2021 and then we did a little bit of uh of like a spring tour like small run on spring this year on 22. so we weren't that you know that is static so to speak so we, yeah. we we did some stuff so it, it was it was good for us to just to be able to play a little bit and just to see 
some people and then it used to be on stage not at the same level as, as we would love to or we would, we would like to but i mean at the same time we, we made it we did it somehow yeah so when we wrote the the ep it was uh it was on a, on a mindset like okay it's been a little bit since we released the previous album it's, uh gen z so I, I believe that it's time just for us to move forward and with everything that happened uh, we were supposed to promote better and do something better with the previous album but you know all these things started to happen and everything shut down and it was it was impossible so at the same time the level the label that we had before the contract was due so it was over so we wanted to have something new something something fresh uh, with the states of the events as that was going on, so we would rather just do something local. So we found the new label that we're right now, Pavement Entertainment, and then we said, okay, it's time for us just to make some music. So the mindset, I, I believe, that it was a little bit, to put it in, in some weird stuff, uncorrupted. So we weren't that much, you know, involved into the the, the events that were happening. We tried to yeah. just make music or the music mm -hmm. because we felt like it was the time just to make music not because we had the time or we were locked down at home or no that that wasn't exactly the idea but the idea was okay let's make music because we need to make music and then we want it and it's time it's been two years after you know the previous album so i think that, that we should start you know throwing ideas and that's how it started so yeah. the, the situation with us is just uh our guitar player lives in Seattle, so we don't live in the same state. So we live in, in Los Angeles. Uh, the drummer and I, Santi and I, we live in Los Angeles, and he lives in Seattle. So we kind of bounce idea back and forth between the states, and you know, whenever we got together. So that's exactly how it came about. So it was, it was odd, it was different, but it was really exciting just to, just yeah. to try. And the quality of that EP is absolutely fantastic. I can tell you from Thank hearing you. it. And where did you guys record it? Well, we, we recorded a Stygian sound that's in North Hollywood with great, a great friend of ours. That is uh, Alex Crescioni. And he mastered uh, the entire EP too. And then uh, we mixed three songs with him. And then we mixed three songs with Tim Palmer. That, Very that good. You, 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 you should know because it's a, it's a, He's YouTube producer, and you know he's done a bunch of you know rock records. He did him, he did uh, Ozzy Osbourne, you know, a bunch of people. So he, they they were the two choices that we said. Okay, so this is we need to go forward because it's is is a I would say it was the natural choice that we had whenever we yeah. wanted to work with them, and the result is fantastic. We were really and we are really really happy with with the way that it came about. And it's awesome. Yeah. We're, we're really happy. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. And just for people that are watching that might want to follow the band, where can they follow you guys on which platforms and where to find you? We have a uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We have YouTube. Uh, we have pretty much all of them, even TikTok we have. Uh, but but I, I will always say the same. Uh, it's easier for, for the fans or anybody who wants to like get introduced to the band if they put it on Google. Sice and Croix or chpan.com. Yeah. So it's easier, you know, for all, everyone that wants to, you know, kind of get involved or just to see what we do or how we do it, you know, that would be the way to go. Yeah. Man, pleasure to catch up with you today and hopefully I'll see much. you in Dublin sometime. Oh, for sure. Now, that's something, like, like I said, is a bucket list thing that we have. Yeah. Thank you and very we can much. Drink some, we, can, we can drink some Guinness over here. Oh, for sure. That's, that's it's, the, it's, the Guinness it's in America. The Guinness in America is shit, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they all tell me the same, and it's always an issue. Like, no, Guinness, that's not Guinness. <laughs> yeah. Man, thanks a million. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.